Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. Here is an important recruitment notification from National Highways Authority of India for civil engineering aspirants. See, this notification is through GATE 2024 score, dear students. Now, let us see the details of the notification. So, here, National Highways Authority of India, Deputy Manager Technical. So, this is a level 10 post of pay matrix of 7th pay commission rupees 56,100 to 177,500 this is the pay scale okay so with central dearness allowance on direct recruitment basis through gate 2024 score dear students and majorly the discipline of civil engineering okay now the number of posts you can observe here total number of posts are 60 posts Unreserved category 26 posts, SC 9 posts, ST 4 posts, OBC non creamy layer, central list only 13 posts, EWS 8 posts are there. Out of the total 60 posts, 6 posts are reserved for persons with following benchmark disabilities. So he has given the following benchmark disabilities. You can see deaf and hard of hearing 3 posts, locomotor disability 3 posts he has given. You can see the categories clearly here. The number of posts advertisement, advertised may increase or decrease as per requirements of the authority that is what he has given. Now coming to the details of eligibility conditions. So details of eligibility conditions here, deputy manager technical not exceeding 30 years and he has given a star mark that indicates the upper age limit is relaxable as per government of India rules applicable for different categories. I will show you that age relaxation also shortly essential educational qualification is bachelor's degree in civil engineering from a recognized university or institute okay so bachelor's degree is required in civil engineering department then by direct recruitment on the basis of valid graduate aptitude test in engineering get score 2024 in civil engineering discipline only in civil engineering discipline only the gate score will be considered and btech or BE in civil engineering is required. So coming to the age relaxation, so here you can observe SEST 5 years, then other backward classes 3 years, then persons with benchmark disabilities SEST 15 years, OBC 13 years, general 10 years, ex-servicemen 5 years he has given. So kindly go through this age relaxation carefully. Then Critical date for determination of eligibility shall be the last date prescribed for the receipt of online applications. So applications should be done through online mode only and determination of eligibility shall be last date prescribed for the receipt of online applications. Okay, then important conditions, the applicant should ensure the following minimum educational qualification. So minimum educational qualification Candidate should hold a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from a recognized university or institute on the closing date of receipt of online applications. Minimum essential qualifications. All applicants must fulfill the essential requirements of the post and other conditions stipulated in the advertisement. They are advised to satisfy themselves before applying that they possess the essential qualifications laid down for the post. Then age not exceeding 30 years as on the closing date of the advertisement. So the upper age limit for advertised post on direct recruitment basis is relaxable as per government of India rules applicable for different groups and category. So already we have seen all these things. Then eligibility for availing re reservation. So a candidate will be eligible to get the benefit of community reservation only in case the particular caste to which the candidate belongs is included in the list of reserved communities issued by the central government. The OBC candidates applying for this post should submit OBC non creamy layer certificate issued during the financial year 2024-2025. Okay, that is issued on or after 1st April 2024. That is what is the requirement. Then further the OBC certificate should also clearly indicate the candidate does not belong to creamy layer as defined by the government of India for applying to posts and services under the central government. Then, a candidate will be eligible to get the benefit of economically weaker section reservation only in case the candidate meets the criteria issued by the 
सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड ही इज इन द पोजिशन ऑफ रिक्विजिट इनकम एंड एसेट सर्टिफिकेट बेस्ड ऑन इनकम फॉर फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो काइंडली गो थ्रू दिस केयरफुल इशूड आन आर आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज वॉट ही हैज गिवेन देन अदर रिजर्वेशन रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन काइंडली गो थ्रू दिस केयरफुली बिफोर अप्लाइंग ओके कैंडिडेट्स हू फेल टू सबमिट वैलिड कैस्ट कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेट्स एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस एडवर्टाइजमेंट विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर रिजर्वेशन एंड दैंडिडेटर कैंडिडेचर ऑफ सच कैंडिडेट्स इफ फुलफिलिंग ऑल द एलिजिबिलिटी कंडीशन ऑफ अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी विल बी कंसिडर्ड अगेंस्ट द अनरिजर्व वेकेंसी ओनली ओके सो काइंडली गो थ्रू दिस यू हैव टू फुलफिल द रिक्वायरमेंट केयरफुली देन कमिंग टू द सेलेक्शन प्रोसेस दिस इज based on gate 2024 score only dear students in the discipline of civil engineering the prescribed essential qualifications are the minimum and the mere position of the same does not entitle candidates to be considered for appointment or interview in the event of number of applications being large nhai will adopt short listing criteria to rest restrict the number of candidates for interaction or interview if called to a reasonable number by any method to be decided by the selection committee okay if the number of applications are more so they will follow a shortlisting criteria that is what they are saying then in case of direct recruitment made by the authority the merit of candidates having same rank in the merit list shall be determined on the basis of date of birth the person born earlier shall be placed higher in the merit list if date of birth of such candidates is also same the merit shall be determined in the order of first letter in english alphabet of their initial names so that is what is the criteria they are saying service bond all selected candidates at the time of joining the post in the authority will have to execute a service bond okay for an amount of 5 lakhs for serving national highways authority of india for a minimum period of 3 years from the date of their joining nhai in the event of their resigning from the service of the authority before the expiry of the bond period or in case of termination of their service on account of their misconduct within 3 years of their joining nhai such candidates will be liable to pay an amount of 5 lakhs to nhai that is what he has given here so it is clarified that nhai does not entertain transfer of service bonds in case of selected candidates who are working in any other government organization therefore no request query in this regard will be entertained so all this information he has given so coming to how to apply applicants can apply online only the procedure to be followed for filling up the online application is given below so here you can see the applicant may visit nhai website so this is the website url that is given for applying online it may be accessed on google chrome or mozilla firefox that is what he is saying click on the tab about us there will be recruitment then vacancies current vacancies click on the advertisement of deputy manager technical then online application will be there so follow the on screen instructions to complete the application so fill up the form and furnish the requisite information following documents are required to be uploaded so what are the documents that are needed to be uploaded you can see here photograph scanned copy scanned copy of color passport size photograph in only jpg or jpeg or png or gif image types not exceeding 1 mb 1 mb file is there signature scanned copy of signature in only jpg or jpeg or png or gif images not exceeding 1 mb class 10 certificate indicating date of birth only in pdf format so image types not exceeding 2 mb caste category certificate in support of sc st obc ncl ews pwbd ex servicemen as per prescribed format attached in pdf types only not exceeding 2 mb so maximum size is 2 mb for these certificates a certificate in support of passing in degree in civil engineering in pdf only image types not exceeding 2 mb that is what he has given so that means your consolidated marks memo and provisional certificate any one we can upload gate score card 2024 in only pdf image not exceeding 2 mb then click on the next button 
then application preview will be seen option of edit and final submit button are also available if the applicant is satisfied with the information furnished click submit button for submitting the application form through online the application form online may be submitted by 24th february 2025 so the last date is 24th february 2025 up to 6 pm the time is up to 6 pm after submission of application form a unique reference number along with details entered by the applicant will be with subject application acknowledgement will be generated automatically automatically generated application acknowledgement would be sent to the email id provided by the applicant so all this information he has given the applicant is required to keep a copy of application acknowledgement in safe custody for producing submitting to NHAI along with supporting documents in respect of entries made by the applicant with regard to his her date of birth educational qualification reservation category all these things okay candidates are advised to fill their correct and active email id in the online application as all correspondence will be made by the NHAI through email only that is what he has given the applicants are advised to fill the online application form carefully in accordance with the eligibility criteria and experience mentioned above. It may be noted that the entire selection process shall be carried out on the basis of the entries made by the applicant in his her application form and no request shall be entertained under any circumstances for alteration. The candidates are advised to submit online recruitment application well in advance without waiting for the closing date. See, try to avoid last minute rush, dear students. That is what they are mentioning. Okay. The post carries all India service liability. Therefore, those who are willing to serve anywhere in India may apply. It may be noted that in case of multiple application filled by the applicant, NHA will consider only the last application filled by the applicant. Okay. So, kindly go through these details carefully. Okay, crucial date for determination of eligibility shall be the last date prescribed for the receipt of online application forms. So, the last date as already mentioned. So, here it is 24th February 2025 up to 6 pm. You can submit the application form and eligibility is also based on the last date of submission of application form. Okay, so kindly go through these details carefully before applying to your students. And make sure that you have all the documents as per the dates given in this notification. Okay. The last date to apply is 24th February 2025 up to 6 p.m. Avoid last minute rush. Fill fastly. Okay. Thank you. All the very best.